seven ladies left I actually here. had a chat to his uncle driving oh, here about an hour ago. He yeah. said, Boron Barney's way up. Here we go. Let's go. Seven going. Oh, oh Argy Bargy, Shelley, top end through. Kuchi. Kuchi. Oh, yep. She did look around, though. The girls are learning. May find a flag there. Sorrento through safe. Shelley Beach in the mix. But Kuchi, fantastic work there. She'll pick up seventh. We'll grab the name off Live Heats in a moment. Yeah, Emma, Emma Haley there from Kuchi. So well done, Emma. Phenomenal effort, seventh best in Australia. Look at the colour, look at the excitement as they've gone through. I love that they hold the flag so high once they come through as well, claiming that and saying, no one's taking this off me right now. All right, Jen, it's an early call, six to go. Oh, Let's no. have a bit of banner on live stream. I Jump know. on live stream, guys. Give us a comment. Who's going to win this out of these six? Shelly Beach is looking good. Shelly Beach. Sorrento looking very fast on the turn it's as well. It's tough. It is really tough. And really. the conditions are getting tougher down I'm just going to go well. WA to spice it, it up. Love so Sorrento, it. I'm going to go with Sorrento. Jump on live stream. Share some love with us as well. Who's going to pick this up in the under 13? As you said, the inaugural year of the under 13 beach flags. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, thinking back to last year's Australian Championships at Sunshine Coast um, in Queensland, one of my races of the carnival was Sophie Watts from uh, City of Perth taking out that open female beach oh. sprint. She was absolutely in shock at the end. She was so quick across the sand and taking that title home to Western Australia was really, really special. And it's great, isn't it? Great that the borders open and uh, to come and showcase, you know, we talk about the history in, in surf life saving and, uh, you know, the bronze Aussie and, and surf sports itself and for these athletes to come along, you know, they've been sort of held back for many years to go and showcase their schools and here they are and, and to me it's the friendships and good times that they have mm -hmm. and they, oh, I was going to say the, the board rescue with the team events but back here in the beach flag, six in, five out. We're down to uh, points time now as well, one point on offer for sixth position. Sereno is still on the uh, the water side, far left hand side, Talabadra mm -hmm. in the centre, right next to Shelley Beach there as well. And we are doing random draws, so the officials will be uh, reallocating the lanes each time. Marichidor sneaking through. I we haven't know. spoken much We're about Marichidor, the Black Swans. Yeah, they had a fantastic night at Karawa yesterday for these sprints and the relays. Swanee and the crew very proud of all his charges down there. Down to the final six now for the under 13 flags. Oh, we get plenty of plenty of hits on live stream from our oh, Sorrento. Fantastic. Hello, Sorrento. Here we go. Come on, big turn. Sorrento's got to work. Richard Orr. Richard Orr's going for strike. Oh, wow. Strategic move there from the Black Swan. Look at this. We might have a runoff. Oh, wow. Rainbow Beach. Look at this. No the one's pose. letting it's like go. A pose. It is a. It is a uh, pose the sun, I think it might be, yoga pose for oh, the young wow. girls. We'll check it out in a moment. I'll tell you what, Richard Orr there looked very, very good. But it's top Watch this uh, second and third from the right. Shelly and that of Rainbow Beach. They dive, they collect. <gasps> oh, how do you pick that one? Oh, we've got word. Harold how? says it's a runoff. It is a runoff. Oh, wow, this is tough, isn't it, for sixth position? Oh, this is the next best thing to Golden Point in State of Origin, mm -hmm. the runoff. I tell you, I love a good runoff. Position six, one point for the club. And, um, Gosh, if you were nervous when you had... Shelly, <laughs> Shelly Beach Girl too. Um, Richard, all that run man, the little black swan, look out. Jack Hanson, centre of screen right now. Hello, Jack. And a big congratulations. The Alexandra Headlands team in the water yesterday. Absolutely fantastic. So many competitors down there in those bright yellow caps. And L Richardson taking out the iron. Phenomenal. I think we've got Talia here from... Uh, I think this might be from Shelly Beach. We'll try and pick up Rainbow as well. Gosh, how's this with the pressure now? Just two ladies. Shelly in front, I think. Rainbow making the move. Shelly in front. Oh, that, wow. that to me is a dominant performance. Well done to Rainbow Beach. Hold your head very high. That is fantastic. The young girl from Shelly Beach, she just stepped up, didn't she, to another gear then and said, uh, I think I need to probably show a little bit of dominance oh, here. Look at this. Just coming across there. Rainbow trying to get an arm around. It wasn't enough. Young Talia there. Just uh, the ability to get the shoulder in front. We spoke about that a little bit earlier. Sienna Arthur from Rainbow Rainbow Beach, Sienna, fantastic work today, taking out sixth place in the under 13 female beach flags. Oh, look at this, position time. The girls getting their... Uh, <laughs> Used to be paddle pop sticks. Oh, we've upgraded, upgraded the paddle pop sticks. Paper, scissors, rock when we get down to two, I think. Yep, I think that's fair. 
see all the clubs down there. More board rescues, uh, the qualification rounds continuing. We will be bringing you those finals later today. And Ty, thinking about how the conditions just continue to change across the afternoon yesterday, I can't wait to see what is on offer for the finals later because they're going to have to adapt as the, as the tide changes. Couldn't agree more. And I think what's interesting with board rescue is the ability coming back to the beach with the low tide and the bank. So tough. The ability to when do you get up and when do you have to run and they've got to run as a pair. So mm. stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because the board rescue is going to be very, very interesting as we come down now to the final five, two points on offer. But you want to make I want to be on the, the top podium. Three. I want to be you in the top three. You want to make the top three. <laughs> We've all got a terrible story about finishing fourth at Aussies far too many times. The amount of chocolate medals I've got at home. <laughs> But so a top three opportunity, but it's step by step. We talk about processes, not outcomes, and here goes the girls now. Look to put all processes together with potentially the outcome of a baton in hand as they finish. Right hand side, Sereno next to Shelley Beach. Talabadra, dead centre. Turn time. Richard to me looks strong. North Cronulla in there too. Oh, they're the two strong ones. And well done. Young girl from Sorrento, fifth overall. Go a name. North Cronulla looking very strong to me. They are two big ones at the moment. Richard or North Cronulla showing some picks. dominance in the final here. That's Liliana Yuvonich from Sorrento. Liliana, fantastic work today. So excited that you made the trek from Western Australia. And you've got to remember, fifth best in Australia. So when you get home for me, Liliana, please draw a picture of Australia. You are the fifth best flagger in your age group around the whole of Australia. Phenomenal effort. Sorrento will be so proud of all their young athletes this weekend. Liliana fifth in the flags and of course it was Sienna Arthur from Rainbow Beach in six, Emma Haley of Coogee in seven and Lara Hannaford from Woolgoolga in eighth. Of course if you're on live heats just search for SLSA and that will bring you up with the, uh, the youth, the masters and the open championships and um, all of the results from earlier today have been registered as well. So let's have a quick look at the uh, 2K beach run earlier today. Um, Milton Stepanowski from Wollongong, Hunter Anderson of Tugan and Marcus Keys from Wanda. They were one, two and three in the under 13s. And then uh, Sienna Carter of Maroochydore, Savannah Bush of North, uh, North, Bo North Burley, and then Marley Francis from Lennox Heath, Alstonville, all on the podium for the 2K beach run. Probably one of the toughest events on the program yeah, there. Yeah, young Savannah Bush, their sister um, picked up uh, picked up an Australian 800 metre championships in the track last week as and well. A gold medal there she go, and a gold medal today 14. as well. And ran that race to a tee tactically as well. Four goes in. This is a chance for a medal. This is a medal chance here. Get through this round, girls. You will be on the podium. <gasps> so exciting. Oh, the nerves, the excitement. We've got Lisa Rampoli watching as well from North Cronulla. Big hello to Lise. Heads down. Good turn, left hand side, Richard Orloff, Crown Protector. So Shelley B through, Talabadra falling oh, short, Kelly. but what a phenomenal effort. So, so close. Oh, isn't it just? Which is what you expect at an Australian Championship, just because these ladies are the youngest competitors in the field. They deserve their spot, and we've got three people um, confirmed for the uh, podium now. Who's it going to be, Ty? Just, just fell a little bit short, indecisive which way to go, but Marley Simmons there from Talabadra. What a race. And how many rounds she's done to get oh. just to this point right now. A fantastic campaign, Marley. And a, and a great club, the Talabadra Club. Yes. I know a lot of members there. And you can see the club tents there. And uh, what about that? That's a great spectacle. Great advertisement. The Mighty Vikings are there. Look out for a brave showing this week with the Mighty Vikings, in particular the Masters. And look mm -hmm. out for the boat crews. Oh, I have heard that is the hot tip. And they had an amazing Elsie's campaign last year, picking up multiple medals in the beach arena. And Ty, very excited that we're on the live stream right now bringing you some juniors. But on Sunday, there's actually a special live stream just for the beach arena so that we can bring all of those uh, boat events on Sunday. Yeah, love the boaties. And uh, you can see the girls lining up now. We've got three girls to come. We've got some uh, little messages high here from Canada and looks like potentially South Africa coming wow, through as well. Hey. The live stream. There's plenty of flags being thrown up. But more importantly, there's two flags. There's I three know. girls. A bronze medal on offer. What do you like? What do you like, oh, Jen? I'm really loving Shelly Beach, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go your club. Uh, I'm tossing up between North Cronulla and that of Marichidor. I like the bookends here. Shelly, to me, needs to work. Needs to work. She's been in good form, round by round, but this one in particular, a little squeeze box between that of Marichidor and North Cronulla. She's got to go. Gosh, Shelly. Oh, we spoke Yay! about that. To me, it was a danger play for the young girl from Shelly Beach, but what a phenomenal effort. 
third best in that of Australia. That is a phenomenal effort from the young girl from Shelley Beach. Taking home a bronze medal for her actions. What a race there. Fantastic work. But look at the tactics here, the ability oh, to get shoulder in front for the young girl from North Cronulla. And how wonderful is it that our little uh, uh, Talia Goy from Shelley Beach, Talia is going to be able to watch this on the, uh, on the replay, see herself on the live stream of Aussies and some fantastic runs that she's had here. I can tell you one thing about Talia, she's got a huge future ahead of her in beach flags and she's on the podium, well done. Bronze medal, third at Leaps 2, two oh, to go. Oh, gold and silver. Where do you go? North Cronulla. Data, what about this? Battle of the States, State of I Origin, know. New South Wales of North Cronulla up against that of the Richardor. Now, you're a Richardor girl. I know. Very, very proud. Back you're gonna, you're gonna back the oh, Bucks on. 100%. 100%. Okay, North Cronulla, I'm on your bandwagon. North Cronulla, one of the one of the flagging greats, Damien Bullion from down there. Top two girls, the Rampoli girls. There they are. Look at this, the two girls lining up. Two left, North Cronulla, Maruchidor. The crowd is really starting to gather now. They know it's getting exciting. And they also know we've got finals up later today. Board Rescue, Swim Teams, Board Relay and Cameron. And we do apologise for uh, just the Club Cups, not names. We don't have names on our live heats coming through until they do finish the event. So if you can help us out, please do. That will be awesome. Left-hand side, North Cronulla. Right-hand side, that on Richie Dorr. You can see the girls lining up now. More competitors warming up. What a great shot. Great so shot. good. Actually, if you guys were on uh, Facebook and Instagram yesterday, we would have seen the highlights package and some amazing photos by Kate Zerny. Um, on there as well. And we're away tie, North Cronulla left-hand side, Maruchi Richard Dorian. Oh, oh. North Cronulla. Cronulla! Oh, that was clear, wasn't it? North Cronulla coming in for the win, hugs all round. What a way to take out the first ever under-13 female flag championship of Australia. Shot. North Cronulla left-hand side, you can see Richard on the right-hand side, tries to get the shoulder in front, she'll come across and try and get the shoulder here, but North Cronulla North in Cronulla front. all the way. Controls. Controls the flag and what a shot. Great job, camera crew. That is phenomenal. And well done, girls. Hold your head high, very high. Gold, silver, and the bronze of the under 13s. And I'm sure we'll get a nice little crossover very, very shortly to. Uh, yep, Harold will be down there. He'll be wanting to interview our winners as they go through. Well, it was Talia Gray from Shelley Beach who took out the uh, bronze medal there. But I tell you what, Harold has our winners down on the beach. Count the wounds of North Manala, the under 13 Beach Flags champion, first ever in Australia. What's going through your mind right now? Um, I'm really happy with how I went and I want to thank all my coaches and people that have helped me to get here. Have you ever been through a carnival with that many rounds before? I don't think so, no. So great endurance. So tell us about the Flags program at North Cronulla. You guys are amazing. So um, I recently moved to North Cronulla and I'm really happy They've been so good to me, letting me in, and yeah. You just won a gold medal, congratulations. Thank you.